That can't be good. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile Reviews A. .ca. Hey guys, it's Aaron from Mobile Reviews A. .ca, and today we are going to do a review of the Ballistic Everyone case. Uh, not a review, but more like a drop test. We're going to drop this sucker. And we're going to have a little bit of fun with this one. You know in all those western movies where they're shooting like the, the pop bottles and stuff and the glass bottles? Well, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with dark guns instead. So, keep watching. Alright, so I've got a Gaddy here with me, and we're going to have some fun shooting this glass bottle, like our western movies. So I'm going to prop the phone up here, using its really weak kickstand. This thing is awesome. And we're going to record it as well, on the phone. Alright. Ready? <laughs> Pull! It didn't fall. We'll try it again. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go see if it worked. So we still got the video going. Uh, I think we should go a little higher. All right, so we felt that that five foot six ledge wasn't high enough. So we're gonna go a little higher with it because, you know, according to that packaging that Ballistic has, says we can do it, so we're going to find out if we actually can. Video's going. Three, two, one. So this is how it fell. That can't be good. So we are going to take a quick look. Well, it's still filming. That's a good sign, maybe? Well... Doesn't seem... well... yeah... The screen isn't much scratched up more than usual. So, did it pass? Okay, so as you saw just moments ago, we did a drop test from, that's probably about 10 feet. No, not even, I'm guessing that's more like eight feet. And this cover came off of the case and my phone was face down. Now, I do notice there's a bunch of extra minute scratches on top of the additional scratches, and believe it or not, one of these larger scratches actually came from this case because it actually flexes and some of the dust particles got in and I ended up still using it and ended up scratching my case. So, we did two drop tests. One of them passed. The other one kind of pseudo-passed because I still have a phone, so the case might have taken the brunt of the fall, but yet it came out. So if this was on gravel or anything, you'd be really hooped in terms of having a nice non-scratchy screen. Now, going back to the some of the packaging, it says five feet to 15 feet. You're like, holy crap, this is awesome. I could drop it from 15 feet, but then you'll notice that this arrow is here and they don't really tell you how you, far you can actually drop it. So 
between, we dropped it from between six feet, which is between here and maybe eight, which is about here. And this arrow says maybe we could go closer to 10, 11 or 12. I wouldn't believe it. So guys, thanks for watching this drop test video that involved Nerf dart guns and me scratching up my iPhone using the Ballistic Everyone case that kind of and kind of didn't protect the phone. Anyways, if you want to see more review videos and drop videos and water test videos, uh, check out our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of videos there. If you want to check out some of the reviews, we do some lengthy blog write-ups as, as, as well as some detailed videos regarding cases. Go to our site called mobilereviewsa.ca. Um, my name's Aaron again. Thanks for watching. Keep your iPhone safe. Not with this, though.